One of the scariest possibilities when you're producing a team's live event is accidentally ending the event too early. This can happen especially if you have multiple producers and one of them accidentally lends, ends the event instead of simply leaving. Well, up until now, that was an enormous deal because a team's live event couldn't be restarted after somebody ended it. Now, fortunately, Microsoft has delivered a new feature where we can restart a team's live event. So let's check out how this works. All right, so we're creating a live event here as Megan Bowen, and we're going to add Alex as another producer. It's important to have more than one producer because if you only have one and they can't make it to the live event for some reason, some emergency comes up, then no one will be able to start the event. So you always want to have a backup available. So we've got two producers. We could add presenters and all of that. And we're going to go ahead and hit next. And then I always recommend turning on the Q&A functionality. And we're going to hit schedule. Okay, fast forward to the day of the live event. We've got Megan and Alex in the meeting ready to go. Miriam over here, she's just an attendee. And she's waiting for the event to start. She's just watching from a browser. Because I want to see how this goes from the attendee perspective as well. So back over here on Megan's computer, she's going to click on Alex to put him on screen. She's going to send him from the queue to the stage, and then she's going to go ahead and hit start to start the live event. So the live event has now started. We've got the nice red border around Alex, and you can end the event if you need to. Over on Alex's screen, we see that he's up on screen and he can just start doing his presentation. Over on Miriam's screen, we're going to see that... Um, the, it, there's about a 15 to 20 second delay. So while I was talking, it was kind of spinning up. And we see now that Miriam, without touching anything, the event has started and she sees Alex on screen right here as well. So if we go over to Alex's computer right here, let's say that he's done presenting and he wants to leave the meeting because he's not going to stick around for the entire live event. This is where things can go horribly wrong for the production crew. Instead of leaving using the upper corner, he's attracted to the red button. So he clicks the red button to leave the event and he hits continue. And now he's accidentally killed the live event out from underneath everybody. If we go over to Megan's screen, she's watching the live event and all of a sudden everything goes dark. The live event is over. She doesn't know what to do. Panic starts to set in. Well, with this new restart feature, we're not quite as dead in the water as we thought. Miriam is still seeing the live event because she's on a delay. So the quick thinking Megan, she can restart the event. However, we want to let the attendees know that there's something going on and we need to restart the event. So it's probably imperative that Megan throws an announcement out there so that the attendees don't leave in the meantime. So Megan's going to click on the Q&A up the top. She's going to say, sorry, we're having technical difficulties. We'll be right back. So she's going to send out that announcement to everybody. So Miriam, she sees that the live event has ended, but she sees an alert from the moderator saying, sorry, we're having technical difficulties. We'll be right back. So she knows not to leave. She's not going to get lost in the shuffle right there. So now let's go in as Megan and restart this live event. So back here, Megan Bowen, she's cool, calm, and collected. She sent out an announcement saying that we'll be right back shortly. She's now going to go up to the dot, dot, dot menu for more actions. She's going to click restart event. This is a new option at the, at the bottom of that overflow menu. So we're going to click restart event, and it's going to let us know that the recording, the captions, all of that is going to be lost and that the presenters and the producers will be kicked out of the meeting. That's okay because the most important thing right now is to get the event back up and running. So we're gonna click restart right here. And this is going to close out the event for us. So we see the window goes away and the window went away for Alex too because he still had the window open. Now Megan can get back into Microsoft Teams and she can get back into the event and start it back up from her calendar, just like before. So she's going to open up Migrate Event. She's going to click Join right here. 
And now you'll notice that we have a fresh pre-live indicator up in the top corner. So we need to get something on stage and restart this event as quickly as possible. So Megan will just put herself on stage, hit send live, and then she'll hit the start button. And in a couple seconds here, we'll have the red border around her and her event has started back up. So the crisis has been averted, but Megan probably wants to go in and let the audience know that they're actually going to have to get back into the live event in order to continue going on. So she's going to send another announcement out saying, hey, sorry, we're back. Please click your link again to rejoin our event. So nothing changed for them. They just get back in as before. So Miriam is going to get in here. She's going to paste that link into the browser. And there we go. Miriam got back into the live event. She sees that the Q&A has been retained. Now Megan is on screen. So the only thing that's lost is the recording, the captions, things like that uh, from the first leg of the, uh, the live event. Um, but we're able to continue going on. Now we have Megan presenting and uh, everything's okay. So as you can see, it's pretty great to be able to restart a Teams live event, but it's something that you only want to do if it's an absolute emergency. You'll lose some assets from the event, and it's pretty impactful because it's going to kick out the presenters and the producers, and even the attendees are going to have to click the link to rejoin the live event and pick it back up. But if it's imperative that you get back up and running as soon as possible, then we've at least got this event restarted in just a few seconds. I hope that you never have to use this feature, but if a crisis hits, now you know what to do and you can keep your calm. Thanks for watching.